This is Skulf TV, presented by Air Blaster. This stop in partnership with the Bone Zone at Brighton, Liptech Snowboards, Lucky Slice Pizza, Rumpel Blankets, and Life Proof. It's an exciting day for the Bone Zone, an exciting day for snowboarding in general, as Skulf Stop 2 is about to get underway at Bone Zone Brighton. Today, some of your Bone Zone favorites will be pit against each other for the title of Bone Zone Skulf Champion, okay? Hopefully we see some Bone Zone greats and just not some great bone breaks. I am joined with potential season MVP Mike Boggs. This might be a little bit of a harsh question. Now that we've gotten Zach Hale out of the way, hole one, do you think your chances are better? Uh, they're always better with Zach gone. He's uh, he's a hell of a boarder, but I uh, hope he feels better after that uh, that bail on hole one. Today, do you think that you have a good chance of placing top three after seeing the course? If there's a, if there's a foot coming out, Nope, never really take my foot out. I don't know why, I just have never really felt super comfortable with it. Am I the only one shocked to hear that Jesse Paul is uncomfortable taking his foot out of his binding? You, you Maybe, I don't know. Course maintenance is a key factor here at Skull Bone Zone. We don't want to make this any easier for anybody out here today, folks. We're going to have to get some of the snow out of these grooves. Anyone drop in here, let me just... I'm joined by LibTech TM. And all around snowboard legend Dave Marks. Uh, Lib Tech is one of the main sponsors of this event, so Lib technically this whole interview is a product plug. Are you satisfied? You know what I I am, and 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 as I get here and I stand next to you, it feels even better. Switch slip slide same way across the whole thing. For females, we got a 50/50 to board slide of your choice, front side or back side, and 270 out. We are live at the studio getting clarification about what just happened. I believe that course marshal Seamus Foster, in true Bone Zone fashion, last minute pulled a barrier out of the woods and threw it between the two tubes. It will be there to stay for the rest of the hole, I'm told. It's uh, just past noon here at Brighton Resort up at the Skulf Tournament, and I'm here with Jennifer Whittier and Joanne Meehan. Or wait, oh no, that's their moms. Uh, Cooper and Robbie of the uh, of the Dust Box crew. You guys, you want to uh, tell us a little bit about the Dust Box? Who, what, when, where, why? Oh wow, that's a lot to cover. Eric Leon, as we all know, you had kind of a disappointing performance in round one of Skulf. Let's just say I did put a significant amount of money on you, double or nothing today. Please tell me this isn't your first time riding this season. This is my first day. Let's talk Skulf specifically now, Robbie. What I just saw you throw down was a lip slide, gap, lip slide, 270. Is that correct? That was switch. What's up, Shredders? Welcome to hole four, Skulf Bone Zone. Complete this rail. It goes up, flat, flat, S, rainbow, snow. Max Tokunaga, this is uh, probably the stop with the most natural feature. Some might call it Skulf naturally. Um, is it true that the trees just actually grow like this in the Bone Zone? Yeah. Yeah, Ted's been working on them for years. The rainbow logs are somewhere over there. Uh, the seas are over there. So yeah, he's been growing these for a little while now. Spin the wind. Seamus, summon the device. <laughs> Test your luck, people. Spin it, get a trick. You gotta do it, four tries. Everyone gets something different probably. Hook me up. <laughs> Hold on. Oh my God, oh. Sam. Hole six for the men. It was a back lip on the wooden down rail. Negative one from your score if it's switch. Hole seven for men. All hands on deck. A 720 of your choice, but you need to grab twice or do a double grab. Green being an up and comer coming into the frame. Green bean, you want to say hi to your mom? Hi, mom. Thanks for giving birth to me. I appreciate it. We're presenting hole eight. Shove on, shove on. Wait, 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 wait. With a lip tech snow skate. Let's do this. Another surprise came hole eight when course marshal Seamus started pulling lip tech snow skates out of the ground. Phil Hansen coming in big, landing that first try. Also a pro for lip tech, who is also a sponsor for this event. Is it an inside job? I, I, with living with him, I'd have to. I've seen some stuff that's a little under the table, so I kind of have to agree with that assumption. Gosh, I am joined by legendary snowboarders Deadlung and Max Weinberger. Perhaps the elder squad here today, watching over the youth. Deadlung, first question: Is it an honor to have a hole named in your honor here today? 
Yeah, of course. Why not? Were you mad when someone else landed at first try? No, I was hyped. I haven't even got it yet. Max, as someone who has definitely been at every single Grenade Games, I honestly would have thought that you would have stomped this one first try. Are you disappointed in yourself at all? No. I got to... I gotta be easy on myself, my age, and this senior PGA out here. Any tips uh, that you'd like to give to the younger kids out here today, Deadlock? Tips on what? Max Warbington, we talked earlier. You stepped off a plane. You didn't know if you were going to be able to podium. In a crazy battle of hand gestures, you were able to take third place. How does it feel? Uh, it feels great. I was able to outsmart both Phil and Jesse, so that feels good for sure. Sorry. Anything you'd like to say right now, once and for all? Did I do it completely perfect? No. Did I end up walking out of the grocery store and getting away with it and getting this cool thing? Yeah, for sure. Damn, Cooper. A lot of people were talking dust box out there. Must have been a lot of pressure. All right, you were able to come through, take the victory. Was there ever one second where you thought anyone else in the crew had it or did you know you have it the whole time? Oh, yeah, for sure. Could have been anybody. I think he's just saying that to be humble. I think he knew he had it the entire time. Wow, I'm joined by Madison Blackley, first place women's rider. Uh, Madison, first question, how did it feel to take down Jill Perkins out there today? Honestly, pretty good, <laughs> but good competition. She was good competition. You know, I might have done a lot worse if she wasn't there. There was a lot of surprises out there today, a lot of unforeseen things. Snow skates coming out of the ground. What was the biggest surprise to you? The whole thing was surprising. I kind of expected just shit to go hit the fan, so I don't know. And that it did. Madison, <laughs> thank you so much. Congratulations on your big victory here today. We will see you at the next stop, and we will definitely be seeing you at finals. Girl, I'm coming for you. Coming for you, K-Winston.